Hey guys, it's Kyle again and welcome back to Modern Warfare 2 Season 4. As you can see, we've done all the diabolical camo challenges. None of these challenges were that hard to do at all. You could pretty much do every single one of these challenges on shipment 24-7. Even the pistol long shots, I definitely recommend doing the long shots on shipment. None of them were really that hard. But yeah, as you can see, we've unlocked the boys camo. It's actually animated. I didn't know this until I unlocked it. It's nice that they've actually added a DLC camo that you can earn that's actually animated. Animated. The Skull Eater camo is technically animated because of that little smoky animation. Same with the Bowling Blossoms, but this one is fully animated all over, and I love that. Hopefully the camo we get for next season is just as good as this one from the raid episode. I mean, yeah, we're just, we're always using the SAB. We're still trying to get to 100,000 kills. Here's the weapon tuning on the round, weapon tuning on the laser, weapon tuning on the stock, and weapon tuning on the grip. We are on 70,000 kills with the SAB. I slacked off heavily during season 3. I could have gotten to 100,000 kills before season 4. We don't really matter, we're getting close to the end and we're going to end up doing it. Yeah, we're just going to get into some quick gameplay and if you guys are new around here and you enjoy these season 4 videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more because we'll pretty much be covering everything to do with the variants and the camels in season 5. And yeah guys, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is what the camel looks like. It's actually animated. I actually hadn't seen what the camo looks like before I actually unlocked it. So I didn't even know it was animated until now. So when I made the VAR International video, I thought this was just going to be a solid camo. Hopefully every mastery camo we get for the next two mid-season updates is actually animated as well. Oh, I missed. I could have had a five on. No way. They still haven't fixed that glitch where the UAV actually looks like an advanced UAV. It's basically where the red dots on the minimap, they're actually solid and moving constantly just like an advanced UAV. And that's with a regular UAV. I ain't complaining. I don't know if it's a glitch or they did it on purpose. I don't care. They've been promoting the idea of camping since Modern Warfare 2019. So how much I enjoyed sniping on Modern Warfare. It was a real pain having to deal with campers on that game. But yeah, what do you guys actually think of this camo? I think this is the best one we've gotten so far in the mid-season update. This is actually not included in any of the raid episode camo. This is only the fourth or fifth animated camo that's in this game. You've got two camos from the previous mid-season update that had this tiny little animation change added onto it. So technically this is the fifth one. There's actually two things that have been rumoured or leaked recently. One of them is that Swag was meant to get his own bundle. You know, like Nick Merckx and Tim did. But you know, because of what Nick said, they removed the bundles. And it was just a ton of controversy caused from the first attempt at putting bundles in from YouTubers and creators. So I'm guessing they're not going to do it again. Or oh, they're at least not going to try it again for this card. They could possibly give him the bundle in Modern Warfare 3. And the other leak slash rumour was that the reveal for Modern Warfare 3, it's going to be through Warzone in Season 5. So I'm guessing it could possibly be a late July or early August reveal, depending on whether or not they want to do the reveal event in Warzone at the start of Season 5 or in the mid-season. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this camo. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next video.